job is very risky. Yesterday in Lisbon, everything seemed to be different. Routine, as it appeared. The call came just before midnight. Meet a young Czech scientist. I receive an address for the exchange somewhere close to the old town ring. It must be nearly two years since I was last in Prague. It's already dark when I arrive. I still feel attracted by the mystic aura that surrounds this city. I enjoy the feeling of the Aston calmly gliding along the cobblestone streets, sinuous and powerful. Memories are weaving their way through my mind. I stop the car. Not a single soul to be seen. A cold wind blows through the narrow streets. I enter a scarcely lit inner courtyard. I reassure myself that no one has followed me. Then I make my way back to the car and drive to the underground car park at the rendezvous point. From the car park, I take the staircase to the sixth floor. Then I see her waiting in the elevator. Sir Richard might be right. Don't trust a beautiful woman, but I don't have a choice. I will have to trust her. There's no other way to get the documents Sir Richard needs so badly. I can only guess her eyes behind her dark sunglasses. She gets into the Aston. Her instructions are cool and clear. I let her believe she's in control of things as houses and windows rush by. Rain starts to fall. I sense a hint of uncertainty, perhaps even fear, behind the cool facade of her face. She avoids eye contact. I can feel the way she looks at me out of the corner of her eye. Without a specific destination, we drive through Prague's old town. Several times she instructs me to park the car and gets out, mostly for just a few minutes. I know that she's just stalling for time. It doesn't matter to me if someone is following us. After nearly an hour, we stop close to Charles Bridge. I've got what I need. Bizarre cloud formations are towering up in the sky. I follow her a couple of hundred meters. A last look on the bridge. I know we will meet again. I make my way back to the car. Steinmann is already waiting in Vienna. I don't have much time. The powerful sound of the DBS puts my mind at ease. I enjoy one last look along the Vladova across the city. Dawn begins to break. I get on my way.